What's up guys? Crooked with Rebound Entertainment here today. I'm going to be showing you how to do an SMB server off a of nano PC. I'm going to take one apart, put a S solid state drive in it, and show you how to do all the file sharing and everything. Stay tuned. So what you see here is the footage of me taking the computer apart, taking out the old drive and putting the new one in. Uh, I'm just going to speed this up so it's not wasting too much time. You will notice I did screw up putting the drive back in a couple of times because the dock in that little nano PC is a little weird. But I did end up figuring it out obviously. I should have paid a little more attention when I took it apart. So. And All right, now back at our PC here, what you're gonna wanna do is create a new folder and we are going to specifically call this PS2 SMB in all caps. Oops. All right, once we do that, I'm gonna open our folder here. We want to create another folder and call it DVD. Now, when you connect your PS2 to this via the network sharing, it's going to create a bunch more folders for artwork and CD and stuff. Uh, right now, we're just using the DVD for the games. The games themselves go in the DVD folder. So, next thing you want to do is the sharing part. So, you right click, give access to, depending on what operating system you have, this is going to be different for each one. So, say specific people, and we want to create a new one called guest. that make it read right hit share okay done now the next step just for good measure you go into sharing advanced sharing share this folder permission give everybody full control apply apply done okay the next thing you want to do is open your network network connection settings here I've already done that here so what you want to do with the Ethernet port that's plugged from the mini computer into your PS2 or whatever you're using is set a static IP. Right click, go to properties, you want IPv4, properties, use this address, I'm going to go 192.168, I'm going to go 1.0, give my computer address an, ad an address of 100, this doesn't matter. And we're going to hit OK, hit Close, and that's it. Done. So the next thing you want to do is go to Network, sh network sh Advanced Sharing Setting, and under your private networks, turn on Network Discovery, 
under all networks here, you want to turn on turn on all the sharing options. So you want this one on, you want this on, you want to turn off password protected sharing. You can leave this on if you want, but that means you're gonna to have to set a password and everything for your PS2, which isn't really necessary. Save changes, close all this out, and the network part of this is done. So now we're gonna flip back over to our PS2 and connect to our drive here over the network. Now, the caveat to this, I have commercial grade network equipment. I have not gotten the Overland one to work using a router. What I am using with this micro PC is wireless connection to my network and then a hardline connection from the computer itself to my PS2. I found that this works much better and much more stable than trying to go over a LAN where network hiccups can cause the whole thing just to crash. So that's the one trick that I have found that works for me. It may be different for you based on your networking setup. So we're gonna flip back over to the PS2 now and we're gonna try and connect to this drive. Okay, now at the PS2, we're gonna go ahead and open our OPL. Mine is going to reconnect automatically because I've already done this once. So I will show you exactly what you need to do as soon as I get my load up here. Okay. Go to menu. We're going to go down to the network config. Now, in here, you want to give yourself a static IP address in the same subnet as your server that you did a minute ago. So with me, it's 192.168.1.200. Uh, gateway does not matter at all. DNS does not matter at all. I just left them what the default was when it was installed. Okay, so the server type, IP. And then we want the address of the computer that we just set. So mine was 1.100. Port stays, this stays alone. Uh, the share folder needs to be PS2 SMB, exactly like this. All capitals, everything. Username guest, leave the password blank, and hit OK. So after you do that, it'll spin and it should reconnect. After it does that, you hit circle for games list. And as you can see, I have a metric ton of games already on my server that I did off camera. One game I am particularly proud of is Futurama. Let's run Futurama. And here we have it. 20th Century Fox presents Futurama. Running off of my Nano PC, hardlined into my PS2. This, to me, is the best way to do uh, PS2 gaming. You save your laser, you save your disk drive, you you save everything on the, on the PS2 itself the game. to keep it as stock as possible. So there you go, guys. That's all I got for you. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Take it easy.